All right, so one thing I mentioned was that I can solve a difference of two squares, or I always want to look for difference of two squares whenever I have an equation that's in the form of y equals ax squared minus c. And we can solve using our traditional factoring methods. However, it's going to be a lot easier to apply difference of two squares if we can have an equation that's in this format and we can represent it as an a squared minus b squared. So to do that, we have to make sure that we have squared numbers. Well, we obviously know our variable squared. We know that's easily squared. But what we need to determine is, is 9 and 4, can we rewrite those as squared numbers? And yes, we can. 9 can be rewritten as 3 squared, and 4 can be rewritten as 2 squared. So I can rewrite them as squared numbers. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to transform this so that it's in this form, so then we can easily see what the factor form is. Now, we do need to solve this, so I'm going to set it equal to 0. And I'm going to transform 3 squared, or 9, into 3 squared, x squared minus 2 squared. So hopefully you'll see I have not changed the solution to this. All I've done is rewritten my numbers in a different format. And one thing important to understand is 3 squared times x squared, that's the same thing. We can rewrite that again as 3x squared minus 2 squared. All right. So that's going to be a little bit of some properties of exponents, uh, the power of product rule. So we can rewrite that as 3x squared. Now you can see I have a term squared minus another term squared, where you could say a is equal to 3x and b is equal to 2. All right. So now what we're simply going to do is now we can just apply a difference to two squares. It's a minus b and a plus b. So therefore, I have 0 equals 3x minus 2, and 0 equals 3x plus 2. Now, since we're solving, we're going to set these both equal, or we're going to um, isolate our variables. So you have 2 equals 3x, subtract 2, negative 2 equals 3x, divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3, x equals 2 thirds x equals negative 2 thirds. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a quadratic by applying the difference of two squares for factoring. Voila. Thanks.